Welcome back to our Network Fundamental Series for Cybersecurity Students. In today's episode, we're diving into VLANs, Virtual Local Area Networks, and Routing Basics. These are powerful tools for managing and securing networks. Before we start, here's an exciting update. We've just launched our cybersecurity blog, Cyber News, on Substack, a perfect way to boost your tech and cybersecurity knowledge every day in a summarized and easy-to-read format. Check it out to stay ahead in the fast-paced world of cybersecurity. Now let's dive in. Today, we'll be covering VLANs, which are all about creating logical groups within a physical network, and routing, which ensures data gets to the right place across different networks. Together, these concepts are the building blocks for efficient and secure network design. Let's start with VLANs. A virtual local area network, VLAN, is a way to segment a single physical network into multiple logical networks. Think of it as dividing one big office into smaller, isolated rooms, even though they share the same building. Devices in one VLAN can't directly communicate with devices in another VLAN unless explicitly allowed. For example, you could have separate VLANs for HR, IT, and SALES. This separation improves security by limiting who can access what and helps contain any potential breaches within a single VLAN. VLANs are incredibly useful for cybersecurity because they act as barriers within your network. If an attacker compromises a device in one VLAN, they can't easily spread to other VLANs. This isolation helps protect sensitive data and reduces the impact of threats like malware or unauthorized access. VLANs work by tagging network traffic with a VLAN ID. When data packets travel through the network, the switch uses these tags to determine which VLAN they belong to. For example, VLAN 10 might be for HR, VLAN 20 for IT, and VLAN 30 for sales. This tagging ensures that traffic is kept separate, even though it's traveling over the same physical cables. To set up VLANs, you'll use a managed switch that supports VLAN tagging. You assign devices or ports on the switch to specific VLANs. For example, you could assign all HR computers to VLAN 10. Once configured, the switch keeps traffic within its assigned VLAN unless a router is used to allow communication between VLANs. Now let's talk about routing. While VLANs are great for organizing traffic within a network, sometimes you need devices in different VLANs or networks to communicate. That's where routers come in. A router is like a traffic cop that directs data between different networks, ensuring it reaches the right destination. Here's how it works. Each device on a network has an IP address and routers use these addresses to figure out where data needs to go. When a device sends a data packet, the router examines the destination IP address, consults its routing table, and forwards the packet to the correct network or VLAN. In cybersecurity, routing is critical for controlling how data flows between different segments of your network, ensuring secure and efficient communication. When it comes to VLANs, routers play an important role in inter-VLAN communication. For example, let's say HR, VLAN 10, needs to send data to IT, VLAN 20. The router acts as a bridge between these VLANs, using rules you set up to determine what traffic is allowed. This adds an extra layer of control and security. VLANs and routing are crucial for network segmentation, a key cybersecurity strategy. By isolating sensitive data and controlling traffic between segments, you reduce the risk of data breaches and make it harder for attackers to move laterally through your network. Plus, with proper routing rules, you can enforce policies like allowing only specific devices to communicate across VLANs. Here are some best practices for using VLANs and routing securely. Define VLANs for specific departments or functions like HR, IT, and guest access. Use strict routing rules to control inter-VLAN communication. Monitor network traffic for unusual activity, especially between VLANs. Regularly update your switch and router firmware to patch vulnerabilities. Implement firewall rules to filter and inspect traffic moving between VLANs. To recap, VLANs are essential for organizing and securing your network by creating logical segments within a physical network. Routing ensures data moves between VLANs or networks securely and efficiently. Together, these tools are foundational for building a robust and secure network infrastructure. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out our previous videos in the Network Fundamentals series, like the one on Ethernet standards. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things cybersecurity. 
Stay informed, stay secure, 